So we're gonna do a Russian twist reach. If you need to put your feet down, you can do so. What's up everybody? It's Mobility Mad with the Martin Mindset and today we're taking you through all different planes, which is gonna be the transverse plane, the frontal plane, and the sagittal plane. So first off, we're gonna start with the sagittal plane. So we're gonna get right into that. And this is the most common one. Lunges. Make sure when you lunge, you come down, bring the knee past the toe, tap the back knee, drive through the front heel. Come down, you feel in the quad, front quad, push off. Forward. Push off. All right, let's get to the other side. One more. All right, next up, we're gonna do a reverse lunge reach. So, with this, make sure you don't you don't want to arch your back too much step back. So reverse, stack, reach, back, up, reverse, stack, reach, come back, up. When you come back up, you want to drive through that front heel. Come back, stack and reach, back, drive to the front heel, keep all the weight on the front leg, step back, down on the knee, stack the hips, reach, come back, drive to the front heel. All right, next up, we're gonna do some squats. So with these squats, you can do a variation like I showed you guys before. So you could either do a slow squat, say it's like four or five seconds down, Hold it in a weighted squat position or parallel squat. Come up. Or you can do uh, static movements. Halfway down, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Or you could just rep it out. Three movements for the sagittal plane. Next up, we're gonna do the frontal plane. So now with the frontal plane, a lot of people end up uh, doing like side lunges or I don't know curtsy squats. So next up is gonna be the frontal plane. So with this plane, it's uh, the anterior, which is the front, and the posterior, which is the back. So we're gonna start off with the uh, side lunge. get as deep as you can right make sure that heel is on the ground you don't want to be here you want to be back here keep the chest up you don't don't come down here make sure the chest is up now you could do this in different forms you could wrap it out like this right or you can do time under tension down slowly depending on how uh, you know what level you're at hold it there come back up down to the other side hold it come back up or you could also hold it at you know different points through these movements I do a uh, nasal breathing because it helps me get through it a lot better a lot more efficiently next up we're gonna be doing sidestep squats so here again 
again, rep it out, time under tension. You could do it weighted. You could do it with the negative. You can do it with force negatives. There's a whole bunch of ways you can do it. Next up, last but not least, the curtsy. Remember, you can do this in multiple ways as well. If you can't, tap the knee in the back. Just go down as far as you can. Alright, now I'm going to get to the transverse plane. So the transverse plane is the least common one used. It's basically you moving around. A lot of people don't do that at all. So we're going to start with the body weight chops. So it's going to be here, here, reach all the way down all the way up and to the other side all right next up I'm gonna do this banded with single arm so here you stack the hips, squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. Ah, damn, that's what I'm on. Other side. You want to have a solid foundation with the stacking of the hips, and squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings. There. Twist this way. Come back all the way. Alright, so the last one for this transverse plane is going to be the Russian twist. So we're going to do a Russian twist reach. Like it, subscribe, appreciate y'all, till next time.